This is around the northwest this Monday afternoon. Now, there is a woman in Dunfanaghy who makes bread mixes and has now got her bread mixes into Aldi stores around the country. Uh, she is Shan McCann of Wild Fuchsia Bakehouse and she's participating in the Grow with Aldi program. So that means that uh, her produce is in the Aldi network of 150 stores around Ireland and uh, Shan joins us now. Congratulations to you. Well done. Oh, thanks very much. We're delighted. I can can you hear me all right? I can indeed. We've been a bit delay, but uh, that's that's no problem. Yeah. And uh, when when I mean, it's when you recently that you got the news. Does this mean that your bread mixes now are in in Aldi's right around the country? Yep, they are indeed the 150 stores. So we uh, we popped in on Thursday. We went live on the thir uh, Thursday nineteenth. So we popped into Letterkenny and it was just lovely to see them in local stores. So yeah, they're around the country as well. Yeah. Because you can you know, work away really hard behind the scenes and perfecting your produce. But uh, sometimes I'm sure as a, as a local producer and an independent producer, it gets frustrating when you, know, you, you can't reach bigger markets that they're that for one reason or another, they're denied to you. Well, that, that, that's not the case anymore with you. Yeah, it's been an amazing opportunity and uh, the Aldi Grow programme has been fantastic. They're very helpful and uh, this is all new to us. So they've been helping us, uh, you know, with from the small things like building a palette to, um, you know, just how you work it and social media. And so they've been very helpful. Brilliant. Now you make three award-winning bread mixers and there's, there's two of those available in Aldi, is that right? Yes, um, we put in the bread and the wheat and bread, and they both have two stars from um, Taste. And then we also have a stout bread, um, which won a silver at Blasna Heron. And we also have a, a scone mix, which we haven't actually entered into um, an award yet, but they're really good too. And they're all very easy to make. So we'll try baking. It's, it's a nice way to start off. Uh, really easy instructions at the back. You don't need too many ingredients. And I'm even I even have a YouTube channel, would you believe? I never thought I would say that. So you can log on to YouTube and, and we show you how to make them. So you're continuing to progress and develop. Yes, we have some ideas for other uh, products that we'd like to do uh, down the line. Um, but that's it's we're gonna I suppose market what we have at the minute and when we get it we'll, we'll develop some more products um but yeah it's been it's been a roller coaster it really has because you've only been open what uh, since 2017 although there was a couple of bad bad years there that's right we had Yeah, we, we opened a bakery in Dunfanaghy, and, which I loved. It was great. We made cakes and tray bakes and breads and everything. And it was actually our customers there asking for our breads to take home to Scotland and England, which inspired the bread mixes. So when we got hit with COVID, um, we were closed for 15 months out of the 18, and we just had to draw a line under the bakery. So we used our time. Um, I did a social media course with the ETB and uh, we started a website and we worked on developing the range of bread mixes because we only had two at the start. So we really spent our time trying to develop the bread mix side of the business. We just had to shift our focus. Well, making bread at home or scone, it's, it's not the most complicated thing, but this makes it even easier for somebody that uh, just might be a bit reluctant or a first time baker, this makes it even easier. It does, it, we like to say there's no mess and there's no fuss. So you, like the scones, you only need two ingredients, butter and an egg, and if you don't have buttermilk, you can always use ordinary. Um, uh, milk and the soda bread just needs buttermilk and if you're vegan you can use plant-based alternatives they all taste very good um but yeah they're very very straightforward to make 
And so if you if you do want to use plant alternatives, that that that, that option is there. There is that sort of versatility. Yeah, there is. Yeah, um, I like the soda bread in particular um, because you can add other ingredients into it. So if you've you've mastered um, the wheat and bread, which is the easiest one, you can move on to soda bread and you can add in um, like black olives. Or you can add in blue cheese. You can make it a sweet version with sultanas and cinnamon. So there's a whole range of things you can do with the soda bread to impress your friends and just change it up a little bit. Yeah, but put your own imprint on it if you like. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. One of my favorite ones is to add in a wee bit of cooked bacon into the dough and then you toast it and pop a wee poached egg on top and your whole breakfast there and you don't have all the dishes to worry about either. Sounds fantastic, brilliant. Well, listen, uh, look out for them in Aldi stores now nationwide, Wild Fuchsia Bakehouse. And uh, the line just isn't the greatest, Shan. There's a bit of a delay as well. But congratulations once again and, and continued success. Thank you very much. And thanks for having me today.